两层楼的独栋建筑，顶上铺满太阳能板，一看就知道这一栋住宅在能源使用上跟一般建筑完全不一样。I hadn't really heard of net zero living before I met Ryan. I had heard of like lower impact living. So you know, living on the cheap, you、uh, turn the heat down, you put a sweater on. 在节能建筑公司工作的夏农，看上这栋已经有上百年历史的建筑，发现很适合展开改造，花费二十七点五万美元买下老宅进行节能改装。I knew this was the right house for me because not only did I like the way it looked aesthetically, but it had some really critical things that I knew were hard to change, which means expensive to change. It's a rectangle, so the long side of the rectangle faces south. That's ideal for energy efficiency. It also means that I have south-facing roofline, which is ideal for solar. This old house not only has a solar panel, but also has a roof that is more than 40 feet tall. It can also be used to cool the air by using three floor mobile doors to reduce air usage. It can also be used to use the sun to the highest extent possible. Buildings represent 40 percent, roughly, of greenhouse gas emissions. That's a huge nugget that we can address through retrofitting buildings and building new homes to operate at net zero. 像这样近零碳排的建筑，在美国其实还不普遍。二零二零年，大约有二点四五万栋像这样的房子。夏农一家当初就贷款大约十万美元展开改装。So originally, I didn't think we could retrofit our house to net zero. The eye-opening moment for me was when we started looking at bids from our remodeler to do solar and what the production output could be. The solar output looked like it could cover 85% of our current energy use at the time. 二零一九年展开改装，大约花费三个月，全面更新，家里的家电也全数换上节能用电的版本。To make the house net zero, the biggest changes were insulation and air sealing, coupled with heat pumps for space heating and a heat pump water heater for water heating, Energy Star appliances, LED light bulbs, and a 7.15 kW solar system on the roof that produces roughly 110% of our energy. 因为还有减碳设备的转换补助，虽然一开始要花上不少费用，但尤其在电价、燃料价格不断攀升的情况下，其实比想象中来的划算。虽然因为冬天需要开暖气，电力使用偏大，但到了夏天制造的电能就可以超过消耗的电能。We produce a surplus all summer long. The sun is shining more than we consume, and then all winter long we have credits. From the net metering program, after the first year of having a net zero house, we realized we had a 10% surplus. 虽然成效惊人，但一般民众听到节能改造要砸下大笔经费，难免为之却步。屋主建议，其实可以从小地方开始。What I would say to somebody who doesn't feel like they can afford to make these kinds of investments is to start with the small stuff. That's where we started too. So one of the easiest things you can do is replace all the light bulbs in your house with LEDs. 利用 APP 定时监控，了解用电量，随时管控，做出调整。透过节能先迈出一步，再尝试逐步加装再生能源设备，就有望打造近零碳排的生活，降低对地球的冲击。据别新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。